Hi, I'm JC. Today we are going to be cleaning my copper kettle. This is an antique. I don't know how old it is. I found it. I've had it for probably 30 years. And it has a lot of bad tarnish on it. And I hope you can see sort of the really bad tarnish that it has. So it's got pits and it's filthy. Just absolutely filthy. So what I have decided to do is clean it. So I thought that that might be useful for you to watch in case you also would like to learn how to clean your copper. Before I start though, I just wanted to don't clean all copper. Just because it's copper does not need, mean it needs to be shiny. If you have an old piece of copper, the patina on it is sometimes part of the value. And people will spend a lot of time and money trying to get that beautiful patina on the copper. So this is pretty straightforward. All we're gonna do is spray it down with vinegar and put on some salt and scrub. That's it. Now, because I love a power tool, I do it with my drill and these brushes. So I just, you know, rather than using elbow grease, I use a power tool whenever possible for everything. Um, you can also try Barkeeper's Friend. This stuff is amazing. You can use this for absolutely, and it's astonishing what this will, will clean. Um, okay, let's get the camera moved and get this set up and show you how it's done. Just thought I'd show you real fast. We're gonna be using vinegar and salt. And then we will scrub. You can either scrub with a scrubby sponge. Choose not to use vinegar and salt. The other option is to use Barkeeper's Friend. It all does pretty much the same thing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just rinse it off with water to get the whatever's sitting on top of it. We're going to start out with the vinegar. I have put it in a spray bottle just because I use it all the time. So I'm just gonna spray that on there. And then just plain old table salt. Sprinkle that on the vinegar. As you can see, there's a chemical reaction happening. You can then get in there and scrub. And it makes a paste and it takes off the tarnish. Okay, now once we get into these stains, it just takes elbow grease of just scrubbing. That's when I use the drill. I use this for everything. I use the drill and the brushes for to clean my bathroom. Anything that takes a lot of scrubbing, these are great. I'm using my drill, but still, you don't get this wet. I know I'm near a sink, but don't, don't, don't get your drill wet. And if your drill plugs in to an outlet, definitely, definitely don't get it wet. Do my best not to get electrocuted. And the brush does the work for you. What you're gonna see is that here on the bottom, there's some very deep, thick grease here. And I think I might actually use a little bit of the um, grease cutter, like a dishwashing detergent or something to really get in there um, and scrub. It will all come off, you just need to scrub a lot. Okay, I've been scrubbing on the bottom of this. As you can see, there are still um, some spots that are tarnished. So what I have done, it's actually grease that is soaked into some dents. This is such an old piece that I have put some Dawn dishwashing detergent and I'm just gonna kinda let that soak. Okay, let's get going on the rest of this. Um, I'm not wearing gloves. You might want to wear gloves because vinegar is an acid and it does kinda eat up your hands, so.
So as you see, we are coming along here and there's a few tiny little pits and spots that I'm gonna to have to either go, not care about or else go back and really work on. Those for the most part are grease spatters that have kind of been baked on. So we'll see how much of those I get out. But as you can see, I'm doing a combination of the vinegar and the salt and the barkeeper's friend. I'm calling that good enough on the bottom. Oh yeah, if you hadn't noticed, this splatter, so probably don't wear a white t-shirt. <laughs> Just put some vinegar and salt in the inside also to descale it. I use this to boil water for my tea and it gets a build up on the inside so I'm going to kind of clean the inside of this as well. I will admit this is not absolutely perfect and I don't care. I'm fine with that. I use it every day and I'm going to have to clean it again in a couple months anyway so I'm going to call it good and uh, when you're done or done enough for your taste, you are going to rinse it very, very thoroughly and dry it completely. Well, I just finished drying and as you can see, it looks pretty good. There's a few little spots that I didn't bother to scrub hard enough to get off. It's uh, just a matter, matter of elbow grease, really. You just kind of you gotta want it. You gotta get in there and like scrub. Um, and if you scrub long enough, you'll eventually get it perfect. But I decided I didn't care about perfection. So uh, that's what it looks like. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, I will see you again next time. Bye.